I'm a college professor, also the founder of the Power Stain Biomedical Group. When I came back from America around 20 years ago, I went along with my family to Yilan. I studied animal science, anti-aging, and stem cell research for many years. I was promoted to be a professor and the head of biotechnology graduate school and the chief officer of IND. Here I stand today being a professor in such a short time. How did I take care of my family and work at the same time? Later, I have to pay tribute to my mom. She is so greatest. You may want to know how she helped me when I moved to Yilan to teach. My mom sold the house in Taipei and moved to Yilan just to live nearby me. She cooked delicious meals for our family every single day. Her grandson adored her so much. Yet 70 years ago, my mom went here. We were eating dinner together as usual. While eating and chatting, suddenly I felt the earthquake. The table was shaking. I asked my mom, how come the table is shaking? So I lowered my head to look and found her legs shaking violently. Oh no, was my first thought. I knew when they got Parkinson's disease. I was so shocked. Yet during these 20 years, I haven't noticed that my mom was ill. Our family was in deep sorrow. I myself do research in the field of animal science and stem cells, but I am not a doctor, therefore I cannot heal my mom with the treatment of the animal method. So I thought of bringing my mom to have a transplant of stem cells. She has two transplant stem cells every year because after a transplant of stem cell, they decrease after six months. Furthermore, there is a risk of treatment causing resistance, and the patient cannot expect a 100% recovery. It only helps to recover 20% and stop the speed of deterioration. A transplant needs to be done every single year. I was wondering if the growth factors of the stem cells were produced by microorganisms. What if we use the methods of taking growth factors by oral? My mom might be able to live another 10 years. Since I did the research of animal stem cells, I transformed the research from animals to human beings and cooperate with doctors in hospitals. This research journey has been going on for 17 years now. CD34 active protein consists of two major cell-produced growth factors in our human bodies. These two growth factors are called GCSF and SF. The active CD34 stem cells in our bone marrow. After our mom started taking the CD34 protein, we found that her life quality improves a lot. She can do the activities she loves. She can still sing, sing with us. So during Chinese New Year, I was so happy that she can still keep us company. I hope that everyone can stay healthy during the last 30 years of our lives to have a good quality of life and happiness. This is my first intention to research and produce the CD34 active protein. City 34 rejuvenates once more.